So then he said, is that your final answer? And I just winked. <laughs> Have you ever tried to predict your partner's next move? Perhaps you know they'll reach for the coffee before they even realize they want it. Is this some kind of human magic or just a very well-trained internal algorithm? Now, what if that partner wasn't human at all, but a meticulously crafted collection of wires, sensors, and code? How do we teach a machine to anticipate, to understand, to simply know what comes next in the beautiful, messy dance of interaction? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. The secret, my friends, isn't magic. It's mathematics, specifically a clever tool called regression analysis. Imagine you're teaching a robot to be the perfect dance partner. It doesn't just need to follow your steps. It needs to anticipate them to feel the subtle shift in your weight and know you're about to twirl. How does it learn this? We feed it data, mountains of it. We show it thousands of videos of people dancing. We let it feel the pressure changes through sensors in its hands. We record the speed and angle of every movement. Each piece of information is a variable and ingredient in our predictive recipe. Regression analysis is the master chef that figures out the relationship between these ingredients. It asks, if the human's hand pressure increases by X amount and their body rotates at Y speed, what is the most likely next movement? It's not just a simple if this, then that scenario. We're forecasting a continuous outcome, like the exact velocity and trajectory of the robot's arm as it moves to support its human partner in a dip. Think of it as drawing the most accurate possible line through a chaotic cloud of data points. This line, this elegant mathematical curve, represents the learned relationship between all the variables. It's the robot's intuition, forged in the fires of statistical modeling. Researchers at places like MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory are pushing this even further. They are not just predicting physical actions, but are beginning to model the subtle cues of human emotion. Can a robot learn to predict when a gentle touch on the arm is needed, based on the tremor in your voice or the slight downturn of your lips? The latest news from the field whispers of robots that can adjust their behavior based on the perceived frustration or delight of their human user. For example, a recent study published in Science Robotics demonstrated a robot that learned to assist in a dressing task, not by following a rigid set of instructions, but by predicting the human's intentions and adapting its support in real time. It's like having a butler who doesn't just hand you your coat, but helps you into it as if you've been doing it together for years. But here lies the delightfully thorny question. Are we just building sophisticated mimics? Is this prediction or just a very convincing illusion of understanding? When your robot partner hands you a tissue before you sneeze, is it because it understands your pre-sneeze tell? Or because its algorithm has calculated a 97.3% probability of an impending nasal explosion based on your facial microexpressions? Does the distinction even matter if the outcome is the same? We are essentially trying to quantify the unquantifiable to find the mathematical formula for empathy. We model the relationship between a furrowed brow and the need for a comforting word. We chart the correlation between a sigh and the offer of a cup of tea. It's a bit like trying to explain a joke with a spreadsheet. You might capture the mechanics, but do you truly capture the humor? So, as we stand on the cusp of a world populated by these algorithmic companions, we must ask ourselves what we truly want. Do we want a partner who can perfectly predict our every need because they have analyzed the data of our existence? Or is there something fundamentally human in the beautiful, unpredictable, and often illogical nature of our own relationships? What happens when our robotic partner knows us better than we know ourselves, 
not through love, but through the cold, hard logic of a regression model. So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.